hello guys uh, in this video we are going to create this soundboard uh, so when we click this button you can hear that uh, the different audio tracks are being played and uh, this is using the HTML5 audio tag yeah uh, we are using the audio element uh, so uh, this is the MDN docs for that and there are different ways of using this and we will be just using a simple uh, audio player to uh, basically just uh, play and pause the uh, audio when we are clicking these buttons so this is what we will be creating today and this is taken from the 50 projects in 50 days uh, course by Travis Media uh, the links to that is in the description below uh, you can check that out as well so uh, without further ado let's get started uh, we are using the same template that uh, we have been using uh, for the previous projects and uh, we are using live server uh, to to basically view uh, the project uh, in the browser so we'll close the other tabs and we'll just work with this uh, we ha we had made a video on how to create this template uh, the link to that is in the cards you can check that out as well so uh, what we have done here is we have uh, additionally in uh, instead of uh, with the template we have added uh, some soundtracks so uh, you can download these tracks from the github repo uh, the link to that is also in the description so if you want the sounds uh, you can uh, get it from there so uh, let's just get started with the HTML. Uh, so first we just change the uh, title. Uh, and we don't want the H1 tag. Instead we will we'll add an audio tag. And in the audio tag uh, we want the sound source. So we'll do sounds slash applause.mp3 and we will give it an ID of the file name which is applause okay so we'll copy copy this line and we'll paste it five more times here uh, we'll re uh, rename the other tags to the other sounds uh, and we'll just get back so we have re renamed uh, all the uh, audio files as such and we have also uh, set the same name as the id here uh, so we have done that uh, we will also need a div with the id of buttons we need a div with the id of buttons and uh, this is where we will dynamically add all the all the buttons so that's all we need for the HTML. Uh, now, now there is nothing here. Uh, we'll add uh, all the buttons dynamically here uh, in a second. So uh, we'll just collapse this and we'll go to the script.js to dynam dynamically add the buttons and create the sound effects. So in the script.js, uh, we need uh, the sounds that are there. So we'll basically create an array of all the sounds we'll add the track name uh, as the sound here so we'll keep the same order as well and we'll just add uh, all the all the track name uh, as comma separated uh, values in the array So uh, that's done. So we'll loop through these uh, to get uh, each of the uh, you know, to create each of the buttons. So uh, what we'll do is we'll do sounds dot for each, and for each sound uh, we want to do something. So here uh, for each sound, which is applause boo, we want a button. So what we'll do is we'll do const btn is equal to document dot 
create element and we'll give the tag as a button and we want the button to have a class so we'll do class list btn dot class list dot add and we'll give it a class of btn and what we'll do is uh, we'll set uh, the text for the button as well so we'll do btn dot inner text and we'll give it a value of sound so since uh, this sound is uh, we are looping through the sounds we'll get individual sound here and we'll set this va these values as the text for the button and once you set that uh, we can show that here uh, so to do that uh, we'll do uh, we'll first get the uh, buttons div so to do that we'll do uh, document dot get element by id and we'll pass the id of buttons and in that div we'll append this uh, btn so we'll save that so now we can see there are all the buttons here and now if you click this there uh, nothing will happen uh, but we'll get to that in a bit so first let's just style this um, so we'll change the uh, font here to poppins we change the font weight as well mm. Also, we want another font, uh, I mean, another background color. Uh, so, we'll do uh, background color RGB 161, 100, 223. Now, you can see that it's a, it's a purple color. Uh, we, we do not want a flex direction column here. Uh, instead, we want to wrap uh, flex wrap here and that's all we need in the in the body we will uh, we'll go to the buttons so in the button uh, we want a background color and we'll set it as uh, Rebecca blue or Rebecca purple sorry and we do not want the border uh, but we want the border radius of we'll give it a value of 5 pixel so now it's there uh, we want to give it a color and we want uh, we want it to have white color so we'll give it a value of fff and uh, it's very close now so we'll give it a margin and we'll give it a margin of one RAM uh, there should be a little more padding to it so we'll give a padding of 1.5 RAM top and bottom and 3 RAM left and right so now it's there uh, we'll give a, a text align center so everything is center yeah then we want the font family to inherit so we'll do font family inherit so now the poppins font has taken over and we want to increase the font size as well so we'll do font size and we'll give it a value of 16 pixel then uh, then what do we want uh, we'll set a we'll set a cursor so we'll do cursor pointer uh, i do not like the outline so we will change that uh, dot btn dot focus and we'll set the outline zero so now when we click it there is no outline and we'll set a ho hover property as well so dot btn 
power and we set the opacity to 0.8 or not 0.9 so now when we hover over there is a small change in opacity so that's all we need for the styling part now uh, let's get back to the script and add the play uh, play and pause so we want to add an event listener so when the button is clicked uh, something happens so to do that we'll do btn dot dot add event listener and we want to listen to the event of click and when that happens we want to call a function and in the function we want to uh, play this so the way we can do that is we want we we, we can get the audio here so uh, what we'll do is we'll do document dot get element by id and the id here is sound so when applause is there we want to get the uh, audio id with the uh, id of applause so we'll get that and we'll just play so play is a function for the audio tag and save that so uh, when this happens uh, the audio will play so if i now if i click here so now so now you can hear that uh, the audio is being played but when i click multiple audios uh, it is not stopping the other instead all of it is playing together so we want to write a, a function to stop the playing uh, before uh, a new track is being played so when the button is clicked we want to stop playing and we'll write a function for that uh, so beneath the sound storage we'll do uh, function stop playing and in the stop playing uh, we'll loop through each of this uh, each of the array again and here uh, we'll uh, just like the other time uh, we'll get the audio element so uh, document dot get lemon by id sound and we have get the audio tag here and to stop uh, playing we'll do audio dot pause so uh, this is also an audio tag uh, function so there is no stop here uh, in the audio functions instead there is pause uh, so we, we will think that uh, since there is play there is a stop but uh, there isn't uh, it's just a pause and to uh, reset the audio uh, we'll do audio dot current time equal to zero so in this way uh, when when it's paused the time gets set to uh, back get back to zero so every time uh, the track starts from zero so now when we save that and then we play so uh, now uh, if we play an audio in between another audio the former audio gets stopped and the other plays so uh, that's all there is uh, to this uh, small project so if you liked it uh, do let me know uh, and the links to everything is in the description uh, you can check these check out the sounds and other things uh, from the github report the link to that is also in the description so uh, hope you uh, liked it uh, and thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one